my friends. I hope you're having an amazing day so far. So today's video, I'm going to let you in on a little well-known secret. It's not really a secret. I travel lots, and you guys know that having family in Canada and living in Australia, I have done a lot of long-haul 14-15 hour flights. I've traveled a lot for work, going from Sydney to LA to New York. Long-haul trips, like 20 plus hour trips. And I think that I have perfected the art of the carry-on bag. I know what to pack, what I need, what will keep me comfortable in a long-haul flight. So I'm hoping that this video will share some of my insight on things that I think are important to pack on a flight. This will help you hopefully for short flights, for long flights, whatever next air travel you will take. I'm hoping that you will take some of these tips away and apply it to your travels. First and foremost, I definitely want to touch on what I like to wear on a long distance flight. Personally, I like to bring shoes that are a slip-on shoe. I find that this is way easier getting through security and getting through TSA. It's so much easier to just pull them off, put them in the bin and go through rather than having to deal with zippers or boots or Velcro or whatever kind of shoe that you wear. It's just easy to have a slip-on. So I really do recommend having some type of slip-on, slip-off shoe. It also doesn't take up very much room when you're actually on the airplane. If you have like a big chunky boot or some type of running shoe that's more sturdy and you take your shoes off and put socks on on the plane, the shoes are just taking up room in your small little cubicle. So you don't want to have the shoes taking up your leg space when you don't really have to. So I definitely recommend something low profile and slip on, slip off. And then for what you're actually wearing, if it's a long haul flight, I really would recommend wearing some type of like stretchy athletic pants. I love wearing Lululemon pants. I feel like they are so comfortable and they're warm and they're easy to wear and I don't know, I just really prefer wearing things like that on flights. You can always bring a change of clothes if you need to look fancier when you get off the plane, but I really like wearing comfortable clothes on the plane. I also really like bringing a jacket. I think that bringing a jacket and or a scarf on the plane is a really, really smart thing to do because it can get freezing cold on flights and it's great to have a little bit of extra warmth. I love obviously something with long sleeves, I can roll them out of the way if I don't need them. And I like things with pockets so that I have pockets while I'm waiting in line or if I need something to put something in, it's just easy to have something with pockets. If you want a little bit more privacy on the plane, you could choose something with a hood so you can pull the hood up and over and you kind of block other people out. <laughs> But that's what I would definitely recommend for what to wear onto a flight. I like to use my Louis Vuitton Neverfull. This is in the GM size. Personally, I found that I like having totes way more than backpacks with my carry-on. Um, if I have to carry like my camera equipment and my computer, then yeah, I'll bring a backpack as like a separate piece for carry-on. But for my own personal carry-on, I prefer totes because you can open it up really easily and look through the whole thing really easily rather than kind of dig through and trying to lift things up to find things. So first and foremost, I always bring a water bottle and I like ones that are larger and have a clip. And obviously you can't bring it already filled up through security, but you can bring an empty one through security and fill it up before you get on your flight. I like it larger so that obviously I can have more water and I don't have to constantly ask the stewardess to come over and fill up my water. And I also like the clip because I can clip it onto the seat in front of me or I can clip it onto like the little hanging pouch and then it's there, but it's not like taking up room for me. I think that the main thing is just making sure that you're drinking enough water. Most people on flights think that they can just deal with those little tiny dinky cups that get passed along to you and that is nowhere near enough water. You should be drinking a ton of water, especially on longer flights. It's going to help you arrive way more prepared, you're going to be less jet lagged, your mind is going to be less foggy. I think that it is annoying being the person getting up to go pee all the time, but I would way rather do that and feel way better and not get sick when I arrive. So definitely bring a water bottle. I'm going to start off with some basic stuff just to get it out of the way. First and foremost, do not forget your passport. It sounds so basic and so simple, but you cannot imagine how many times people scramble to find their passports in airports. I recommend keeping it in some type of brightly colored cover. Um, not only does it keep your passport looking newer for longer, you can find it really easily in your bag if you know, okay, this bright green thing is my passport. Bring your passport and keep it somewhere where you can access it really easily. Don't forget your wallet. Um, I definitely would recommend having a wallet that you can zip so that all of your stuff stays securely inside. You don't want to lose obviously your bank cards or your ID when you're traveling, that would be horrendous. I would definitely recommend having a copy of your passport, your driver's license, your ID, your medical card, anything that is an important document for you. Have an actual scanned version of it in Dropbox. 
you can access Dropbox via any computer in the entire world. It's obviously a locked platform so no one else can get at it, but you will have your information wherever in the world whenever you need it if you were to lose it. So I definitely recommend doing that. But that aside, let's move on. I bring a pair of warm socks because my feet get freezing on planes and it's just easier to have a pair of warm socks to put over top of whatever socks I'm already wearing. And I always bring an extra pair of underwear. Sounds weird, sounds gross, you'll thank me later. Trust me. I bring a set of headphones. You can obviously have earbuds or headphones. I just have headphones in mind because I like having something that signifies people to go away. I don't want to talk to you. I'm on the plane. I want to just have my little headphone and my little world. That's why I bring those ones. I bring two little makeup bags. The first one being all my liquids in a clear one. This is really easy because you can easily take it out of your bag in security and put it into the little tub that they want you to. I'll go through what I bring in here. So first off, like I said, all of my liquids are in here. I think that bringing a hand sanitizer spray is a huge plus. Airports are disgusting, airplanes are disgusting, you're eating food and you're probably going to be sleeping on a plane. So you kind of want to like douse yourself <laughs> with some type of hand sanitizer. I really like this one. It smells very faintly of lavender. Do also remember that people might be very sensitive to smells on flights, so don't have something that's like in your face smelly, but it is good to have a hand sanitizer. I also bring a nose spray. This is just a salt saline nose spray, and I swear on my life on this. This is what keeps me not getting sore throats, not getting coughs, not getting sick. It clears my nasal passages and I swear by this. Whenever I fly, I always, always, always use this several times during the flight. Love it. I also bring eye drops. My eyes get really dry on planes and it's just really nice to have something to kind of keep my eyes lubricated and fresh. I bring a mouthwash rather than a toothbrush because toothbrushes can just collect bacteria and get really grody and they're kicking around in your bag even if you put one of those little clamp things on top of them, they're still getting dirty, you know it is. So having like a mini mouthwash is definitely a plus. If you really want a toothbrush or you really want something to scrub your teeth, I would absolutely recommend getting a teeth wipe. This one is from Whitening Lightning, it's just basically like a little thing that goes over top of your finger and you can scrub your teeth with it. Obviously sanitize and wash your hands first, put that on and then put it in your mouth, but oh my gosh, these are lifesavers because you just throw them right out afterwards. So that is what I use for keeping my breath smelling nice on airplanes and keeping my mouth feeling nice on airplanes. I also always bring a hand cream. I feel like my hands are always dry. Everything's dry on an airplane. It's nice to have some type of strong moisturizer. This one is from Sukin. It is a paraben natural hand cream. I don't know, I love it, it's good. And the rest of the things that are liquid in that are in this bag are makeup items. And I bring very little on airplanes, but if I do want to look polished when I get off the plane, I think that having these items really will help. Um, having a good eye cream to help your eyes not be as puffy or as baggy or look as sleeplessness as they are. Um, this one I stole from Glenn because it was the only rollerball one that I have. I really like the rollerball ones because it's kind of nice and cool as you roll it underneath your eyes. This one's from Clinique. I like to bring a hair oil to tame my tresses. Uh, and like I said, everything gets dry, your hair gets dry and staticky and kind of unmanageable. Having a bit of a hair oil will kind of calm everything down and get your frizzies to go away. I bring a BB cream because I don't want to deal with a full face of foundation, but BB cream gives me a bit of coverage and makes me look a little bit more dewy and fresh when I get off the plane. I bring a concealer slash luminizer. This one is from Maybelline and it's the Dream Lumi Touch. I love this. It gives a little bit of brightness underneath your eyes and in the inner corner if you apply it there and I really recommend this one to kind of wake yourself up. I bring a blush. This one is a, not a cream, but like the ColourPop ones that are kind of a cream, but not a cream. Um, these are really nice because it just adds a little bit of color back into your cheeks. I bring a powder because I get a little bit shiny in my T-zone. I bring a little mini brush. I only really need one because I pretty much only use the powder and the blush and that's the only powders I use. I bring a eyelash curler because I like having my eyelashes nice and curled. It makes my eyes look way more awake and open and I can definitely use that on a plane. I use the Benefit Gimme Brow as a brow product. I don't like having to do like a full on brow when I'm on the plane, but using something like this that gives a little bit of color and a little bit of like fiber to your brows, this is great. 
and I always bring a mini mascara, like the sample size mascaras. These are so handy because they are plain size and perfect. I love them. Um, optional, you can always bring a little tester of perfumes. Um, don't spray this when you're at your seat. Again, it might irritate somebody having perfume sprayed right next to them, but if you're in the bathroom, spray and then go to your seat, do your thing, you know? So that is in my liquids makeup bag, and what is in my non-liquids bag is this one. And you open it up, and this is what it looks like, and I have quite a few products in here. <laughs> I have a stick deodorant. Bring deodorant on your flights, so you're gonna be a stinky little fucker. You don't wanna be a stinky little fucker. Bring your deodorant. I have face wipes, because you are probably at some point going to want to wash your face if you are I don't know, traveling at night and you already had a face full of makeup, it's probably not going to last 15 hours, so it's nice to wipe your face. Or just in general, it's nice to wipe your face. So I have face wipes. I have a extra thing of bobby pins and an extra hair tie. I have a one of those one above flight drink tablets for um, helping with jet lag. I have a pen. I have a couple of thin pads and again these are a lifesaver. I definitely recommend bringing little like panty liners on the plane. I hate the word panty but these things are absolutely so useful. You're sitting with your legs closed and your crotch is like mingling with itself for like a long time. It's kind of nice to have a little liner to strip out and keep yourself fresh as you go. So I think that this and an extra pair of underwear is definitely a must have for me. Um, I also bring a stronger, more heavy-duty pad just in case I'm on my period or the person next to me is on my period. I don't know. I like to be prepared, so I bring a thicker pad. Um, I also bring, to keep fresh down there, or even armpit fresh if you feel like you're smelly, um, I bring, like, vag wipes. <laughs> There's no other word for them. The, like, always clean tear here. I don't know. Just little wipes for your vag. Keep yourself fresh. It's gross when you're stinky and you don't want to be disgusting like that. Nope, nope, you don't. I bring an extra plastic bag. You never know when you have garbage or um, your extra set of underwear that you already took off because you're feeling gross halfway through the flight. Put them in the plastic bag. Nobody wants gross used undies kicking around in their flying bag. Um, I bring a extra thing of moisturizer, just a little mini sample size of the moisturizer that I use. A lot of the time brands will have little mini like tester sizes, so grab yourself some and stick them in your bag. I will admit, I am one of those weird people that use sheet masks on planes. No shame, I want my skin to look nice when I land. So I look like a complete freak putting this on and having this on, and I will say people walk by me and they're like, what is she doing? But my skin looks nice after I fly, and that is because I use sheet masks. This one is from Dr. Morta. It is a brand that I found in Singapore when I was in their airport last. Um, I really like it. It works well, it adds a lot of moisture to my skin, and like I said, I show up looking refreshed. I also bring Q-tips, because you never know. You guys are going to be so prepared when you fly next. Alright, let's continue. So, I bring another little baggie of useful things. I like to bring uh, melatonin. Obviously, if you are not into taking herbal supplements, then ignore this and fast forward this. And I'm not telling you to take it, but I am telling you this is what I bring and this is usually what I take on a flight. Um, melatonin is a homeopathic sleep aid. It's not a sleeping pill, it just encourages sleep in a natural way. That's what I like to use. Anyways, uh, I like to also bring a little thing of electrolytes if I'm feeling electrolyted out. I don't know. You never know when you need electrolytes. I like bringing these little Vega things because they're just really useful. I bring a couple of protein bars. You never know when you're going to get hungry in between meals. I think it's important to pack protein bars. It's a good thing to have something to munch on. And with that said, I also really recommend bringing and or looking into the little just add water type meals. Um, I know being a vegetarian on a flight, sometimes they screw up the meals and it is the most frustrating thing in the entire world. But then they're like, oh, we can't feed you for the next 10 hours. And you're like, well, shit, what do I eat? I always bring these now. Um, this one is a muesli pod. Basically, you add hot water and it's cooked in like three minutes. Um, you can bring instant noodles. You can bring ones that are like a quinoa based one. You can bring ones that are for breakfast, for lunch, for dinner, for whatever. They are so handy. They come with their own spoons and at least you're not going to be starving 
but I really, really recommend bringing these because they're light and they're easy to pack and they're really no problem to get onto a flight. So yeah, check it out. I like to bring some type of cough drop, if not for me, for someone around me. If they're coughing, it's a nice thing to be able to go, hey, you want a cough candy? AKA shut up. <laughs> it sucks being the person that's sick on a flight, but I'm sure most of us have been there and or you will be there one day and it would be fantastic to have a cough thing in your purse. So I like to bring these. Of course, I bring a little pouch with a ton of earplugs in them and an eye mask. And this is my specific eye mask for traveling because it freaks people out. Hold on. Yep. <laughs> I'm that person. I think it's hilarious when people on planes have ridiculous eye masks that you kind of have to double take as you walk by because you're like, it, what? <laughs> That's me. I love things like that. So I definitely recommend bringing an eye mask. It will help you sleep so much more. Bring earplugs. Bring extra earplugs because chances are you will probably have one of them fall out. You never know. You don't want to have one earplug and then you're screwed with the other one. Um, I bring it, like I said, in a separate little bag so that I can easily find it and everything stays in one spot. Now for some basic things that are just fun to have for entertainment purposes. I like bringing a magazine because you never know when you want some light reading where you don't really want to read but you want to read just to pass the time. Um, I am excited to read this Empire magazine that is all on the new Star Wars movie so this should be really good. I also like to bring a mini mindful coloring book and coloring pens. Um, it's nice to pass time just mindlessly coloring and I don't know, I really like the mini ones because it feels like you can complete a page and it's done and it doesn't take like 10 friggin years. I know with my bigger coloring books sometimes I get kind of frustrated because it's like oh my god I'm still coloring on the same page but the mini ones are really great for that and it's just something light and easy to pack and it's fun to bring. Also a good conversation starter if you're sitting next to a kid. I always bring my iPad and I load some movies onto it beforehand. It's nice and dirty. Make sure to charge all of your accessories, including your phone, before you get on the flight because you never know if it's going to have a plug-in on the flight. And with that said, I like to bring a little external um, battery. Uh, this has four charges for my iPhone or iPad or whatever is a USB charge device. Um, this is from the company Zag. This was bought a few years ago. I'm sure you could get a smaller, lighter, sleeker version of this, but it's one that I have, so it's one that I use. Um, I also bring a lightning cord and charger. Um, obviously, if you are not traveling to the same country, the little end thing might not work, but I bring mine just in case, and it's good to have an extra cord in your bag, because you never know when you need to charge something. I bring my Kindle, because I do like to read on flights. I have my gnarly sticker on the back. Um, but I love having my Kindle and I love that my Kindle is one of the ones where you can download a book from anywhere in the world. Thank you Glenn for getting me that. He bought it for me for a present. I thought I would hate it. I am like such a book person, but it's fully converted me to be a Kindle person. I love it. Um, that is the majority of, that is everything in my main part of my bag. The last thing in the little pouch of my bag is blotting papers. It's nice to have these, you never know. You just want to touch up, have some blotting papers, have another elastic. And finally, I have lip chap. You guys didn't think I forgot, did you? I love bringing things like EOS or Revo or things that are in a weird shape. And the reason is you can find it so much easier in your carry-on bag when it's dark and you're like, fuck, I just want lip chap and you're digging around. You're gonna find it way quicker if it's this shape versus like, I don't know, this shape. Easier to find, bigger, and just more fun to use, let's be honest. That, my friends, is everything that goes in my carry-on. I hope that you found this video informative. Please let me know if you think that I'm missing anything. Personally, I think I got myself pretty covered. <laughs> I really, really want you guys to take some of these tips and tricks and apply them to your next flight and let me know how it goes because I feel like over the years of traveling, this has really suited me well and it's worked well and I know it'll work well for you guys. Don't forget to like the video if you haven't already. If you haven't subscribed, I would really appreciate that. And good luck on your next flight. Have a fun, safe journey, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.